Okay everyone, we've got our fish dissections today. Um, so what I have here is a dogfish, so this is a shark, and we've got a bony fish, this is a roach. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to talk you through the external anatomy um, and show you where you would cut to do your dissection. Um, and then in a second video we'll show you the internal anatomy of each of these animals. So we'll start with the shark, remember this is chondrichthyes, this is our cartilaginous fish. Um, so it has, if I turn it over, you can see we've got these pectoral fins which we've talked about before and the pelvic fins underneath. These are paired so this enables it to sort of um, keep its balance but also means that it's a really strong swimmer. This is also helped a lot by the tail um, and the, the fins on the tail give it a lot of strength so lots of sharks are um, sort of very fast strong swimmers that can go quite a long distance. Um, <clears throat> the gills are exposed um, so if we compare that to the bony fish, you can see the gills on the side of the shark here. But on the bony fish, they're covered they're on the inside of this bony flap of skin called the operculum. Remember, these are both jawed, jawed fish. So on the shark, the mouth is on the underside of the head. But on the bony fish, the mouth is terminal, so it's right at the end. So, in terms of the scales, bony fish have these, um, have these bony scales, they're rough, and if you, <coughs> and you can lift them, if you go against the, against the scales, they, you, there's a lot of friction, and on the other side, if you go this way, it's, it's very smooth, so this enables sort of the, the fish to be very streamlined. The shark has sort of very almost sandpaper like skin and actually before we use sandpaper shark skin was quite often used for that for that purpose so it's lots of tooth like um, scales um, <clears throat> so one of the things that we've talked a lot about before are the fins so this is a ray finned fish if you remember and the ray finned fish they sometimes have these spikes along the dorsal along the dorsal fin um, this is the caudal fin here at the end, so this gives it the sort of the, the power to push forward in the water. We've got the pectoral fin here and the pelvic fin underneath here. This down here, this is called the anal fin and <clears throat> what we have here are two holes. The first one, which is nearest to the anal fin, is the, is the anus. And then further up from there, we've got another hole, which is the urogenital opening. So two discrete openings here. Compare that to the shark. I'm going to turn it over here. We have a single opening. Um, so this is called the cloaca. And this is for both waste and reproduction. And we'll have a look at that system when we, when we go through the, the dissection on the inside. So in terms of the sensory organs of these, of these animals, both of them have a lateral line. So you can see this on the bony fish here, this line that runs down the side of the animal. On the shark, we've got the same line running down from the, from the top of the head all the way down the body. And this is all to do with sensing pressure in the water. So if something were to move away or towards either of these animals, they'd feel the pressure, they'd feel the pull of the water. So in terms of, <clears throat> oh yes, just to say, the sharks also have nostrils. So they have a really, really good sense of smell, which you probably already know. Um, they also have spiracles here, just behind the eye. And spiracles are found, they're found in all sharks, but generally they're, they're really only used for sharks that spend a lot of time on the, on the bottom near the sand. Um, so if you imagine if, you're, if, if a shark is swimming against the sand, then there's a lot of sand which could come in through the mouth, interfere with the gills. And so spiracles are a way for sharks to breathe sort of from, from the top of their heads. Now, in terms of dissecting these, these fish, so those of you who will be coming in for your practicals, 
to dissect the, the, the dogfish, you're going to turn it and you're basically going to cut using a scalpel or scissors from the cloaca in a straight line all the way up and there is a bar between the pectoral fins so it's quite hard if you cut up to there and then you're basically going to cut down the sides so you've got sort of a big a big rectangular opening so you can see inside the stomach when you've done that and you've seen the stomach contents you can then cut up to see the gills which I'll show you how to do but you cut across this bar that runs across between the pectoral fins this gives it strength and sort of rigidity you cut up through this bar which you might need some strong scissors or, the, or uh, a scalpel you cut up and under and all the way to the mouth in order to see the gills underneath so with the bony fish you're going to cut another rectangle but you're going to do this on the side of the animal so this is a, a lateral incision all the way across from pretty much the sort of the, the, the anal fin base all the way up and you're going to stop behind the pectoral fin because what we don't want is to break apart the gills so I'll show you in another video how to see the gills uh, but you're going to cut essentially from here to here in a large rectangle I think I have covered everything 